Now let's explore how we can utilize nested resources with a, a nice uh, user interface. And we're going to take advantage of the fact that Rails uh, has a, a directive called accepts nested attributes. And this should continue on four. And this will be inside of the the church's model. And what that means is if we create a, a church that we will also accept or allow services to also be submitted as part of creating the church, which is the perfect situation that we want because we want to be able to associate the services and the churches together and be, be able to construct them all at once in, in one unit rather than first creating the church and then individually creating each service separately and trying to be able to make the tie between them. If we can create the church and all of its services alongside, it's going to work. So if we look at that, what, what we would like to be able to do is if this represents our, our web page here, is that we're going to be constructing a, a church and in there we're going to include things like the description of the church and we want to be able to upload a picture of the, the church and include its website and anything else we have about the church and then we're going to also include the information about the services so this would be service number one a little bit lower down here would be service number two and then there would be some button right here which says create new church and inside of, of the service part we would have the the details specific to to that service things like <coughs> its start time or what day of the week that it meets on uh, or its location and we would repeat that for each service so this service would also have its start time its day of week and its location as well <coughs> so we will lay out the the website like that and you can see here then that what we have is we have one big form that's going to contain all of the information of the church and then little subforms maybe they'll kind of look like partials we'll, we'll see in a bit for each one of these services and we can are accepting not just information about a church model but we also are going to create a a service model that is connected back to this church and a second service model that's also connected back to this church and it's all one web page we click on this button one time creates a church model both service models connects the service models to the church and it all ties together in a very nice way now as we've described it here this it breaks some of the constraints that we've been talking about with databases this is not normalized because we have a multi-valued field. We have two services. So it's really important that these uh, are separate database entries, that the service model is separate from the church so that we create a separate object. If we didn't do that and we m made the service one and the service two as being part of the church object, that would be really bad we we don't know how many service objects to make we um, all the problems with our multi-valued fields pop up here and so the way we've designed this web page is not normalized but the cool thing is we're mapping the not normalized interface which is the natural way we think about the data into a normalized situation for the the database so it's it's a really nice setting because we put the the data in it in the way humans can understand it not in ways that are best for the computer and yet we're still able to map that to this relationship the best way the the database can handle it and and rails just 
maps the, those two naturally so we don't even have to, to worry about, well, that's not a good way to represent it. You're right, it isn't, and we won't do it. But it is a great way to interact with the website, and so it, we will do it. Um, and that's kind of a, a nice feature be between the, what the user wants and what the computer wants.